just got here and guess what came in the mail it's my fender not paint match decent bring that inside then also my wiring harness for my headlight came in so at least i can do some stuff to that today uh which is a little bit exciting but um yeah here's the wiring harness uh one of my headlights was placed together on one side and when it got mac um well it turns out that there's just nothing there so it's about time to get one of these johns to just clip right in i don't know if you can see that i need to turn on more lights but um yeah that's where it's going to go in and each one of these has to be individually spliced but don't have to dick around with that too much anymore which is really nice um and then we have that thing to work on today some more and um we pretty much got uh a lot of stuff apart so the hub assembly and the axle is out on this side um and on this side we're it's really rusted so we're just trying to get it out um but yeah we're getting really close and then once that side's out we just jack it up um support it well i mean it's kind of supported already but we have to have a jack under the motor and then um drop the cradle and then start on the bell house so we're getting there and hopefully we're gonna drop the old one and start to put the new one in today um and i can get started on uh some stuff for this and then i might have a little job coming in a little bit um or i have to weld uh, one of my buddy's waist skates shut because uh he's been having boost leaks really really bad and i think it's related to his waist skates. so if i can't just get it to shut normally um, i'm just gonna weld the bit shut but at least we're getting some parts and stuff done all right derek just got here and he's hacking away on that and um I just grinded this down and it's ready for some fiberglass I'm gonna put over the two holes for the Z-badge delete. Um, it didn't come with the badge, but to match this side, um, it's gotta be covered in fiberglass and it gotta be covered in body filler and then sanded down and then primed. And I'm not gonna keep the primer that is already on this because this isn't paint, they just ended in primer. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna cover that with some fiberglass. I'm gonna mix up some mud. Also, here's that wiring harness and this is gonna make life so much easier it's just not color coded so uh but it is the correct plug for the driver side so yeah that's gonna that's gonna kind of suck but at least that's gonna make life so much better to be brown but Ooh. so that that's covered but um then i'm gonna sand that in a couple minutes lots of rust unfortunately um and it's being a bitch to get off sorry i just want like an overhead yeah see the hub assembly is still there but at least on the other side it's off so but it's being a bitch just finished sanding the fender and the fiberglass that I just put on it, but I'm gonna put some body filler over to the edge of where I sanded, like the bare metal. Um, and also those like little holes don't really matter. This is just something I need, but put some body filler over that to the edge, match the contour, and then put some primer over it. And this thing's already in primer, so I'm literally just gonna match it, so it doesn't matter. Um, and it's all gonna be the same contour, and then it's gonna end up looking like this when it's done, but I'm so excited that it's only gonna take a couple days. And I'm so excited that it actually got here today, instead of, um, 
this weekend like I thought it was gonna get here. So this is saving some time on some things, but oh, there's a five request still up. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna get sanded down. But I'm um, gonna slap some body filler up on that. Um, gonna mix it first. But I'm gonna put it on there, sand it down, and then um, it's gonna be all flat after that. So it'll look pretty decent. A couple of my buddies are here. My friend just lowered his Mustang and put his Corbo racing seats in. God, it looks sexy out there. That's a TT. Finally got it covered. It's, it's hard, so I'm just gonna sand it down, and make it flat. I uh, match the same contour because I got it on the first try. Like, that's the divot for the hole. So I'm just gonna sand it flat because it's actually past the fender. And then, um, covered with some primer because we're getting there. So I'm just sanding it down, pretty much just getting all the grooves out. It's getting pretty flat here, it's getting shape. But um, it's just between doing his stuff and hopping on back on this. And then um, my buddy with his TT left, but I don't know if he's coming back or not. But um, I don't know if I'm going to do his waist skate today or not. Just depends on if he comes back. But uh, yeah, I like how the shape of this is coming along and it's actually coming pretty well. So Got to blow this off before we primer prep, but... Wasn't that long ago. <laughs> Damn. Damn. That's <laughs> that sucks ass, Zach. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Nice and even. Boom. Take a look at that. That's one fender in primer. Another coat or two, and then it'll be ready to sand. Uh, share jeans. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, so this is finally uh, primed and sanded down. Um, hey, but Marissa, two coats, two coats were put on it. Two coats were put on it, and um, it's finally done. So it's just about ready to be painted. So. He's gonna stand it for like another minute and then that's it and then um he actually got that side taken apart so, so he got it done what what do you mean let's do my tt no get the fuck out of here we're fuck doing it tomorrow <laughs>